today I'm going to make a, or rather I made a decision that is, I don't know if I'll be able to stick to it or, uh, but yes, yeah, I want to stick to it and I'll make sure that I stick to it. But as of now, I've made the decision to do this particular thing, which is really shocking for me. And when I informed my wife, it was shocking for my wife as well. So I'll give you a few seconds to think what it is. Obviously, since I spoke to my wife, it's not a divorce. <laughs> so what is it? Moving from Thailand, removing my tattoos, uh, stopping my brand work, YouTube videos. So what is it? Okay, I'll tell you. The, I'll tell you how it came about first. I'll tell you how it came about first. Yeah, you know, I, I speak to a lot of clients, okay? And most of these clients are very rich or successful or have lots of money. So this particular client whom I'm speaking to, he made shit loads of money, shit loads. I mean, uh, in the cryptocurrency boom, let's assume like he made a hundred, you know, hundred million, okay, roughly. So he doesn't have to work for a single day in his life now, and uh, he is not working at the moment. He's just relaxed. He's in his thirties. He's relaxed. He is, you know, enjoying life. So he had a session with me and. Uh, he asked me this question, Loy, what do you think I should do next? Do you think I should uh, start a new business venture? Do you think I should invest in a partnership, business, you know, so many other things. Do you think I should try this? Do you think I should try that? So he gave me a bounce a couple of ideas. And uh, very intelligent guy, huh? very intelligent. So he was giving me examples like Elon Musk invested all his earnings of PayPal into SpaceX and into Tesla and how from a million, million dollar guy, he became a billion dollar guy. So he was asking me, what should I do? And so I just, uh, as we were talking, brainstorming, I was giving him ideas. I then, uh, I finished the session, but after, uh, I think a couple of hours, I told him, listen, I just want to talk to you. There's something, it just crossed my mind. He said, fine. We got on the call again. I asked him, here's my question to you. What if you, you know, decided you're going to invest in a business and you ended up uh, knowing that you have cancer and uh, you're going to suffer for the rest of your life? What if you found out that uh, you're going to meet with an accident and you're going to be hospitalized or you're going to need somebody's help for the rest of your life. It's like, not like you're going to just die. And if you die, you know, the normal answer is, if I die, I'll just enjoy life, go for a holiday, blow off all the money. No, not that kind of thing. You're going to live, but you're going to live a very painful, miserable life. Uh, and I told him, see, listen, don't give me an answer because this is not about asking you how intelligent you are or smart you are. You know, because we like to give intelligent answers. We like to say, oh, I would have done this, I would have done that. You know, we, we always, you know, most of us men, we like to put this thinking cap of intelligence and give a solution to everything. So I said, don't give me an answer. Just reflect. Reflect on what would have happened. Let's say the bank sees all your money and you don't have any money anymore. So he said, okay, fine. He reflected on it. And then after a few more hours, he said, he just sent me a thank you. He said, bye, thank you. That's it. He didn't say anything more than that. Now, the funny thing is sometimes I give advice and uh, I feel I need to take that same advice myself. Now, I didn't think about any of this sort. I didn't think anything of this sort, but I was tired. And um, as usual, I wanted to go for a massage to relax. So I had gone in the morning and the guy was busy. So then later on in the afternoon, I went to my favorite guy. He was again busy. Then in the evening, I went again. And he was not only busy, but the other people who were there, 
they were just sitting down so i asked them uh, could any one of you do a massage since he's busy and i don't know maybe they were tired or whatever or maybe they know that i like a little strong massage so they said uh, no we are not free even though they were free they were just sitting around talking and they pointed at that same guy so and they were laughing and joking and all that so i kind of felt disrespected uh, you know it's like uh, i'm a customer i've come there you know kind of mocking me making fun of me so i just kept quiet so okay i came back home i thought about it and i told my wife let's go around checking different massage centers so that i'm not tied down to one option and i went to i drove around checked all the options and i found it more or less the same rates and people like to play around sometimes they say normal massage is 250 if you are little strong it's 300 if you want a bit more strong it's 350 so even though they are doing the work the massage they are playing around with the to squeeze more money out of you so and being a service i you know i can just keep massaging this way and they say oh you are more strong and then put a little effort so that's a nice way of squeezing money out so i just kept quiet checked came back home pissed off that i wanted to relax i couldn't relax and my guy was busy and yes on top of that these people were there you know kind of making fun of me even though i'm a daily customer of theirs so i thought about it and asked myself okay we'll try to find a solution for this what i normally tend to do is when i have a problem i don't uh, i just keep it to my mind i think about it i wake up the next day and there's a solution so i woke up this morning and as i was running my legs were paining uh, i went for my normal run and then i asked myself this question which i never thought i would have asked i asked myself that if in case i was poor let's say i didn't have any money how would how would i have solved this problem in 2011 my youtube video if you follow that 2011 my i lost all my money i was on the streets so would i have thought about going for a massage in 2011 when i didn't have any money the answer is simple straightforward no i wouldn't have thought about a massage forget massage i wouldn't have thought about spending money on anything i didn't need so then i asked myself Okay here I am talking about getting a massage every day uh because I have the money and then I remembered I had this conversation with my client the day before that uh what if you don't have the money what would you do now obviously with him I said about health if you have cancer or obviously you would go for medical treatment but then I just thought to myself If I didn't have the money, would I go for a massage every alternate day? And per massage, I'm spending 300 baht. Okay. So how much is 300 baht into one year? And then immediately it hit me. Wait, not only massage. You go for coffee, three shots of espresso every day, plus four cups of tea. Uh, that is lemon iced tea, and that comes to another. 250 300 baht so roughly when i calculated i'm spending around uh, say 600 baht a day 600 now 600 may not seem much to some of you 600 is more like uh, 60 say roughly around 15 dollars okay 15 us dollars every day so it may not seem much to you Uh, but for some of you 15 dollars is a big deal 15 dollars someone in india 15 dollars is quite a lot for a youngster 15 dollars can buy him a full game for a pc for some others if they save 15 dollars they can buy something really big say 10 days 150 dollars so i was like 15 dollars a day how much is 15 dollars for a year and then i i was like i can buy myself a new imac you know 
So I was thinking about all these things. And then uh, it's not the fact that I can't afford it. I can't afford it today. But what if I couldn't afford it? What if I was poor? What if I was in 2011? Then I would not be spending money for this. I would not be thinking about this. I would uh, manage without it. And it's not something that I'd die without. It's not something that is life and death. It is something I can live without. And uh, then I thought to myself, okay, what can I do with this money? You know, maybe I'll save it in a piggy bank. I'll keep a box next to my computer, a kind of piggy bank. And every day, I'll put in $400, sorry, 400 baht into it, or 500 baht. And after one year, open it and see what I want to buy. You know? So, when I told my wife about this, she was a little taken aback. Because she knows how important my coffee is, how important my tea is, how important my massage is. But yes, obviously I'll try to get a substitute. Instead of massage, I will teach my wife how to just stand on my, let's say, leg. I'll sleep the other way and ask her to stand on top. So it's pressure. I'll do stretching every day. The other alternative for tea or coffee is I'll make it in the house. Just have to buy coffee powder. Initially, I know it'll taste like shit. But I'm pretty sure eventually I'll master the art. Because... Let's say when I went with my wife to Ubon Rajasthani, there was no coffee outlet, there was no tea outlet. We had to improvise. We had to go to 7-Eleven and buy tea coffee sachets, you know. So why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? It's not because I'm trying to be stingy here. One is I want to wean my body out of uh, addiction. The other thing is, okay, forget discipline. Let's not go there. The other thing is, what if I didn't have the money? How would I survive? You know, I was asking myself, these Thai people who are poor, who cannot afford, their body must be aching. Do they go for a massage? No, they don't go for a massage. How do they manage? Poor Thai people don't go for drinking an espresso or coffee every day. How do they manage? How are these people managing? So, if they can do without it, why the fuck... <laughs> Am I having it? I need to find a cheaper alternative. This Starbucks kind of option. Okay, agreed. It's not as expensive as Starbucks. But uh, why? Every day, if I save $15, after one year, 15 into 365. So that's roughly four... Roughly around five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. Roughly. You can do the math. Three sixty five into fifteen. Three sixty five uh, three thousand six hundred fifty is ten. Half of that is one thousand five hundred something. One thousand whatever. Very bad at maths. One thousand eight hundred yeah. So that's roughly five thousand something plus I can buy a new iMac. So why don't I do that? The benefit to all this is I'll be able to discipline myself. Second one, I'll be able to wean myself off this addiction. Third one is I'll find a cheaper alternative. Fourth one is save money. Fifth one is uh, not get disrespected by anyone. Sixth one is, you know, be smart. I don't know. I'll go back to uh, soaking my feet in water stretching, massages, everything else. So this is what I've decided to do. Now, I don't know whether this is, am I going to sustain, survive, keeping to this, or will I give up? Or, but I'm going to do my best. And obviously, you know that I keep things real on my channel and uh, I am very honest with you. So I'll keep you updated. But what do you think? Do you think this is a smart move? Do you think this is stupid? Do you think... Uh, there is something to learn for you? Do you think you also would like to try it? Because sometimes I think we we just live in the world that nah, I can live like a king for the rest of my life. Yes, some people can. For my client who is a rich, you know, 
this rich ex cryptocurrency guy he can live easily but uh, what if i couldn't how would i do so this is the decision that i've taken no more overpriced coffee no more massages even though massages cheap in thailand no more just totally stop and uh, i'll try to find an alternative and live without it i'll make coffee and tea at home that's it i'll research some cheaper uh, youtube recipes for it and then try to find some cheaper sachets so let's see how it goes let me know your thoughts uh, uh you know i'm very keen to know what you think and uh let's see how it goes man let's see how much money i save every day and i'll keep you updated on my instagram and uh, facebook channels all right you guys take care